Hello everyone, this is uh, Ellis Owens, also you might know me as Clark Kent, and uh, as always I want to get a salute to my uh, veterans and soldiers, as I am also retired, uh, disabled soldier, and uh, today I'm going to bring a start of a new series, and um, it's all going to be focusing on the different support cla the classes and the offense of defense of each class. Um, beginning of this video, you're going to see uh, I had a friend of mine lost in the party, um, so I'm going to get him back in the game. His game lagged out, typical on the Xbox. So, and then I think I opened up a couple battle packs and uh, got to open up those battle packs. I have a tendency to forget about my battle packs. So. And uh, so yeah, I open up the battle packs, and I think I switch a weapon or two, and and I find out very useful is once you switch a weapon is give a couple bursts to recenter my recoil. But that's a little quick tip. But today we're going to focus on the medic, and um, I love to play the medic, and I think um, which is part of the assault class, and uh, I like to go um, since the assault class has either uh, offensive which is more of the grenadier or a defensive way, which is the medic. And that's what we're going to be focusing today is the defensive of the assault class, which is the medic role. And uh, after playing with him and, and breaking him down, I think there's three critical things on how to be a great medic. And I see a lot of people be the grenadier, but I don't see too many medics out there. I see a few of them, but not too many. And uh, I don't think it's really that hard. And the ones I do see as medics, they really don't do that great of a job. Um, they might revive, but they might never put a medic pack down. So you're sitting there wondering, well, I'm revived, and how am I supposed to get help? So it's it's not a great combination. So, um, and I thought, you know, that there needs to be, you need to know how to play it if you're going to, you know, do something well. So the, the first tip I always recommend is, um, Watch out for lone wolves. Um, the first thing, and I think this is the most crucial part of being uh, playing the medic of the assault class, is the lone wolf. Um, and what a lone wolf is, is really, is any time an enemy will kill a teammate, he might always be looking for the medic to come running out there and reviving him. And to be quite honest, I've done the same thing. You know, wolves, when they hunt, because they're an apex predator, you know, they'll, they'll come out and they'll lure you out until the wolf pack will surround you and kill you. And and that's be, and that's quite honestly, you know, what the enemy will do. And skilled players will do that. I mean, it was more prevalent in Battlefield 3 than I think here in Battlefield 4. I mean, quick game modes like Obliteration on here and Rush, you'll see it. But, um, a lot more. But you got to look for those lone wolves. And I do it all the time. I kill a teammate, wait for the, the medic to come out, and then I, I kill him. And uh, the lone wolves are probably the most deadliest thing as playing as the medic role. you got to watch for it. you got to play smart. And, and and that is probably the biggest thing. So um, not playing smart, which is um, my second point, is will get you killed. Um, and because not playing smart, um, the lone wolves will come out and, and, and kill you. So, you know, you got to be focused and, and always ready. And um, you ask, well, what do you mean by playing smart? I mean, I always play smart. Some of you might say, well, that's true. But, I mean, playing smart is knowing when to shoot first, revive first. And be quite honest. I actually struggled with this for a long, long time. And you're going to, about, about right about now, you're going to see uh, there was a teammate um, I could have picked up. But instead, what I did is I backed off. And I went around the corner and I waited and then I came back out. And the reason why um, is because I did not really know where the enemy that shot him was. And so I decided to back off and I decided to play it smart. Um, for a long time, I had a ha I had ha I had a habit, excuse me, of, of when someone died, just running out there and reviving. And well, that got me killed because there's a lot of lone wolves were waiting. So I had to learn to say, "Hang on, I got to play it smart." You got to learn to 
um, you know, revive or wait and shoot first. And be honest, it's better to shoot first and then you know, then revive. Because to be honest, it's better for you to be alive than dead. And um, and that, that's sometimes that's hard because you get in that role, hey, I need to revive my teammates because, you know, we're going to lose tickets. You guys are going to lose tickets. We're going to lose tickets. Especially in game modes like Rush and Conquest. Tickets are the lifeblood of the game. And you just don't think about it. And so, yeah, so you get, you, you kind of forget that mentality. You know, I'm doing my job. The other teammates need to be supporting me and and, and working. And you really do forget. And um, and I'll be honest, I've been there too. So I mean, so you got to be focused, and you got to you know play it smart. You know, when you go in there for that revive, you got to realize, okay, I got to need to keep myself alive because it's no point in me reviving everyone when I'm constantly dying. Then you're just not really being a benefit. So. Playing it smart is probably you know, your next big thing. And the third thing I want to talk about is when to know doing revised. And, um, and you're going to see, I, I actually had a nice, I come around the corner, I kill a guy, and it should be coming on the screen very shortly if it has not. Um, and you'll see I kill him, and then I run over and I do two quick revives. Um, and Battlefield 4 has a unique um, property now that where you can do a long revive for full health or a short revive. A short a short revive does a 20 in health. Um, so if you're curious about what the revive is, it only does 20 in health. So um, which is nice. And when it comes up and revive, um, revive assist in the bottom. That's how much you know you've given. Um, the person how much help you have given. So when you see me do revives on here, they'll say revive 20, revive 25 as I'm reviving people. You know how much um, help I'm giving. And you're seeing a couple times I've done some long revives, they'll say 78 or something. I've given that guy 78 health. Right, revive 100, I've given 100 health. And so you need to know when to do a long revive and when to do a short revive. In that situation right there, when I killed the guy, I knew I had, you have a three second timer to deploy and typically uh, unless there's a commander they can do a fast deploy so I knew I had to do two quick revives you always want to revive first and then throw the medic pack down for a while I was doing it the other way around and I was losing revives losing revives losing revives and uh, yeah so and it takes some experience to do that it also takes experience to you know running and reviving the pack in your hands but once you get those two down it, it won't be that problem um, it won't be a problem. So, learning, you know, when to pick a long and a short revive, and, uh, you know, you will get sometimes teammates that just do a quick revive and they run off, they're not smart. But, other than that, you know, those are the quick tips I can give you. You know, if you follow those, you'll find out you'll be pretty good. You know, you'll be a way efficient medic. And, um, I hope this helps. Um, if you want to, like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be working on some more of these breaking down the uh, different classes. Um, next week I'm going to be working on uh, an engineer class. So I hope this helps all of you and uh, had a pretty good gameplay right here. Um, really supporting the team and um, and um, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.